At this point, I want to revisit the circle and the one that we have already broken up into degrees. And I'd like to break this up and write the equivalent radian measure of each degree that we have on this. So you might want to pause the video and go back to that page, and then we'll start. Okay, so if we start with zero degrees, zero degrees is zero radians. We've converted, I mean, we convert 30 degrees to radians by multiplying by pi over 180. That reduces to pi over 6. And so what I want to do is just break up the circle. Instead of going every 30 degrees, we're going to count how many pi over 6's we have. And so to go from 30 to 60, at 30 degrees I have 1 pi over 6. At 60 degrees I would have 2 pi over 6, which is equal to pi over 3. So 60 degrees is equal to pi over 3. If I count one more pi over 3, or another 30 degrees, that would bring me to 90 degrees. So I have 1 pi over 6, excuse me, 2 pi over 6. 3 pi over 6 would be up here at 90 degrees. 3 pi over 6, if you reduce that, that's equal to pi over 2. So 90 degrees is equal to pi over 2 radians. If we keep counting pi over 6s, 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6, when I get to 120, that's going to be 4 pi over 6, but that's going to reduce to 2 pi over 3. So the radian measure of 120 degrees is 2 pi over 3. Again, we'll keep counting pi over 6 as multiples of it. 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6, 4 pi over 6. When I get to 150, that would be 5 pi over 6. And that actually doesn't reduce, so we'll put that right in. 5 pi over 6. This brings us to our next, this brings us to 6 pi over 6. And if we have 6 pi over 6, that's just equal to pi. This should make sense because if you think of a rotation all the way around, 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi, and so halfway around is 180 degrees, so that would be just pi. All right, we're going to keep counting. This was 6 pi over 6, so 210 would be 7 pi over 6. Nothing to reduce. 240 would be 8 pi over 6 but I'm going to reduce that to 4 pi over 3. And going from 8 pi over 6, this is now 9 pi over 6 at 270 degrees. And 9 pi over 6 reduces to 3 pi over 2. So we're at 9 pi over 6, then 30 degrees would have to be 10 pi over 6 and that will reduce to 5 pi over 3. Now let's look at multiples of 45 degrees in radian equivalents. So 45 degrees is the same thing as pi over 4, and we'll mark off every multiple of pi over 4, or the same thing, it will happen at multiples of 45. So the next multiple of 45 happened at 90 degrees. So we had 1 pi over 4. Here we'd have 2 pi over 4, and that is already marked in. 2 pi over 4 reduces to pi over 2. At 135, we're going to have 3 pi over 4. At 180, we'd have 4 pi over 4, but we can see that that reduces to pi. From 4 pi over 4, we'd go to 225, which is 5 pi over 4. And from 5 pi over 4, we'd go to 6 pi over 4, which is at 270. And 6 pi over 4 does reduce to 3 pi over 2. Then we go to 7 pi over 4 at 315. 
and then from 315 up to 360 again, we'd be at 8 pi over 4, and 8 pi over 4 is the same thing as 2 pi. So hopefully this will help you to kind of break up the circle in both radians and degrees, and in the, in the next part of this lesson we're going to draw angles in standard position. So I'd like you to pause the video and then bring yourself to the page where we're going to draw angles in standard position. All right, example four, we're going to draw three different angles in standard position and we've got the the circle broken up into multiples of 30 degrees and multiples of 45 degrees to help you out. And so the first angle is negative 135 degrees. And so I know that these are increments of 45 degrees right here. So here would be 145, another 45, and then a third 45. So from here to here would bring me to negative 90 degrees, I want to go another 45 degrees in a clockwise direction to give us negative 135, and that should go right through that line. So putting the arrow indicating the rotation is clockwise, this would be negative 135 degrees. If I want to draw 5 pi over 4, um, I can. There's a couple of different ways to do this. I like to use the x-axis to help me out. Like I know that this is pi, right here, which would be considered four pi over four. So using the denominator to help me, and two pi would be eight pi over four. And so I'm trying to figure out with respect to four pi over four, I would be one more pi over four beyond that. And so each one of these is a multiple of pi over four. And so if I'm at 4 pi over 4, I just need to go one more pi over 4 to get me to 5 pi over 4. So this is the angle that is 5 pi over 4. And the last one, if we want to do negative 7 pi over 6, I'm going to use that same idea, only I'm going to use pi over 6, uh, a denominator of 6. So I know that if I rotate, this is a negative, so I've got to go clockwise, and I know that this is negative pi right here. If I rotate all the way, that's negative pi, which would be negative 6 pi over 6. So if I go from here to here, I've gone negative 6 pi over 6, I want to go one more six pi, uh, pi over 6 right here, so this angle right here would be negative 7 pi over 6. So I'd like you to pause the video and try to draw a few angles on your own and then start the video up to check your work. All right, this first angle, negative pi over 6, I need to just move in a clockwise direction, pi over 6 units, which would bring me right to this right here. So this would be negative pi over 6. For 7 pi over 4, I'm going to use multiples of pi over 4, and it will help me to, to use the x-axis, and so this would be 4 pi over 4. This would be 8 pi over 4 if I rotate it all the way around, because that's 2 pi. So if I want 7 pi over 4, I just want one fewer, or one less pi over 4. So I'm going to draw my angle from here to here this would be considered 7 pi over 4, which is 1 less pi over 4 than if we went all the way around. I'll put my little arrow in to indicate the, the rotation. Okay, let's do part C. We want to draw negative 390 degrees. We know that's going to be a clockwise rotation. We know that if we do one rotation that's clockwise, that would be negative 360 degrees, so I need to go 30 degrees more, which will bring me right here. And drawing my arrow to indicate the direction is negative. 
So when you have negative 390 degrees, you have one full rotation in a negative direction and then another 30 degrees.